Hey guys, Ivan here, and in this video we have a couple of very interesting topics, but we are starting with this one, it's Juji Mufu, who just competed at the MPC North American Championships, and he's trying to win his pro card, can he do it? Uh, does this physique look like pro worthy physique to you? No, not even close. Honestly, guys, I'll have to be blunt, I'll have to be honest. I can be politically correct, I don't care about that. If you guys don't like what I think, that's okay, you can move on, but I'll have to be honest. I don't like this physique at all, it, it's horrific. It is such a rugged physique, he should not be competing in a bodybuilding show. These quads, what is going on with them? What is going on with his abs and with his waist and lats? I don't know guys, I, I know I'm being brutally honest, but that's exactly what I'm seeing, it does not look good, it doesn't look good, it looks bad, it looks like a bad photoshop, honestly. Now as far as him winning his class at this show, well, it's actually possible, it's probably not gonna happen, but he's not that far away from the other guys, because he's competing in Masters, over 35 years of age, and I don't know how old Joji Mufu is, if you guys know, let me know, but, you know, in this class, he doesn't look that bad, but, like, to be an actual open pro, it's never gonna happen, he's never gonna turn pro. I hate saying stuff like this, saying that somebody can't do something, but I just don't want this guy to be a pro, I don't want IABB Pro League to have these kind of physiques getting a pro card, I just don't want to see that, and I I'm pretty sure they won't give it to him, he, he doesn't look like a pro, not even close. If you look at the other guys in this lineup, you can see that all of them have their flaws, but basically they all look better than Juji. It's not that he didn't bring conditioning, he came conditioned, he came big and full and everything looks okay as far as that, he came ready, but it's just his physique, his genetics, his shape, his structure, it's not good, it's bad. Really, really bad, and I know people will hate me for saying stuff like this, but the reason why I originally made this YouTube channel was so I can speak up, speak my mind. I had these thoughts about bodybuilders, about different things, that I wanted to speak out to say what I think, and that's what I'll keep saying until I have this channel, I won't be censored, I'll just speak my mind, and honestly guys, I don't think this physique looks good, I just think this guy should stay away from a bodybuilding stage. His Instagram, his social media is great, he's very entertaining, his acrobatic abilities are amazing, especially at his weight, as much muscle as he has, but as far as being a competitive open pro, that's never gonna happen, and with this kind of physique, he should not be competing in bodybuilding. He can do whatever he wants, if he enjoys being on stage, then sure, do it. Who cares what I think, but as far as him doing well in bodybuilding, that's never gonna happen. As I said, this show, North Americans, Masters, over 35, he actually won't do that bad, honestly. From the front, I think everybody in this lineup beats him, but from the back, he probably looks the best here, honestly. From the back, he looks good. Back, double bicep, and back, lat spread as well. So those two poses look good, and that's about it. That's where it stops. Everything else, not good. Not good. Take a look at this video, this, this really high quality video, and here you can see exactly what is happening and what is not happening, not happening in his chest and in his quads. It looks like some areas of his quads have been blurred by Photoshop, so the separation just simply disappears. Same thing is happening with his chest. Where is his lower chest, his right pack? What is happening with it? And as you can see, he has some gyno on the left side, the right nipple is has disappeared somehow, so I don't know what is going on here, again, this looks like a really bad photoshop, I don't know if he tore those quads at some point in the past, or he had some injury during this prep, I don't know what is going on with his chest, maybe he, I don't know, torn his pecs as well, if you guys follow his social media, you probably have seen him doing some crazy things, like uh, acrobatic stuff, uh, all kinds of dangerous things, so he probably injured his, his body multiple, multiple times, and this is probably the consequences of that. Of course, he's also deadlifting and, and squatting really heavy, so those things probably made his waist um, so big, and I would, I would guess that he torn his lats too, because they're looking so asymmetrical, but from behind, you can see that that's not the case, his back looks good, it's probably just a posing thing, he's just not a very symmetrical, not very proportionate, not very aesthetic looking bodybuilder, 
uh, from the sides he looks better but still you can see the, st the same thing in chest again his back is definitely his uh, his strongest point and his back poses are definitely his best poses actually the only good pose that he has those two poses everything else is just uh, a mess so look at this absent eyes this is just grotesque is the word i'm looking for now this uh, this most muscular hands on hips again not good <laughs> I'm trying to be as mild as possible, but somebody has to say what is going on here. I'm sure other YouTube channels won't be as aggressive, won't be as honest as I am, but I think we can all see very clearly that this physique does not look very good. And again, that's a mild way of putting it. I remember seeing Juji move on stage before and he looked better, but I don't know if it is the age that is taking a toll on his body, is it the injuries, did he just for some reason came in watery and his body is holding water in certain weird areas, like, like parts of his quads and his chest, and I don't know what is going on here, but what I'm seeing I definitely dislike bodybuilding is about muscularity conditioning but it's also about aesthetics symmetry proportions and those are the things that he severely lacks if you guys have different opinion or you agree with me or perhaps you want to advise me to be more politically correct in the future and less honest whatever is on your mind tell me in the comment section down below all right lately i've been talking about amateurs quite often now let's move on to the pros and this could potentially be one of the new top pros it's mark hector and lately the past couple of years it looks like this guy has been climbing that ladder and as you can see right now he looks absolutely freaking amazing at three four weeks out of arnold classic uk and he's definitely one of the top contenders i can easily see this guy in that top three mix with andrew jack to james hollingshead and this guy in that top three he can place wherever in that top three i can see him beating andrew jack if andrew is not 100 percent i can also see him beating james hollingshead if james doesn't bring it if you guys watched british grand prix last year you probably are thinking no way mark can beat james because james was so much bigger so much thicker last year but that was last year there has been an entire year of growing of off season and i think mark hector grew so so much i don't think he's even close to his last year's version now if you take a look at this photo right here you can see that his waist is incredibly small he has one of the smallest waists in open bodybuilding today of course he was lacking size especially in the legs in the quads i'm not sure correct me if i'm wrong but i'm pretty sure this guy placed third this year actually last year right after james who won and uh, regan grimes who was second after this show last year i think a lot of people saw the potential that this guy had and i think right now he's fulfilling it i think he has gotten so much thicker i'm really curious to hear about the numbers how much weight did he put on but he definitely looks so much bigger now again the problem was last year the problem was legs and he improved those for sure his legs are definitely looking better but they are still not exactly world class compared to for example james or andrew they're definitely going to be a problem so that's definitely his weak point how much will it cost him we'll see when he steps on the stage but i think he definitely added more tissue to those legs as you can see the shape is something that cannot be changed his legs kind of remind me of those of brandon curry so those guys don't have good leg genetics and they can't really change much about him but they can grow them they can grow them a little by little you know they can grow certain parts probably more than the others as you can see mark Hector has really developed a uh, vastus medialis part of the quads, the, the teardrop. And if he can grow that, then that's what he should focus on. If his outer sweep won't grow, then stop trying to grow it. Grow what you can. Whatever you can add the muscle in those legs, it will mean a lot. Adductors, vastus medialis, whatever, just gain as much meat as possible in those quads. I mean in those legs as you can see from the side it's a different story his legs do not look that bad from the side especially hamstrings so he probably worked on what he can work if his outer sweep is not that great he grew what he could as you can see his hamstrings are looking amazing his glutes too and he's known for having the craziest shoulders especially those rear delts so from the sides his delts are looking insane and also of course his waist is really small in this pose side chest he looks phenomenal 
he posted this shot too so as you can see his legs are definitely not his strongest point again how much will this cost him you do have Brandon Curry placing second and even winning the Mr. Olympia and winning the Arnold Classic basically without any legs so if this if he can do it why not mark <laughs> but probably at this show it will cost him about two spots i think he will be top three third place probably and i do have james and andrew both placing ahead of this guy but we'll see it's definitely gonna be an exciting Arnold classic uk if you guys want something refreshing and super tasty to drink around your day and also something that's gonna help you build your muscle and basically has no calories, it only has BCAAs in it, then I will suggest Vintage Built by the Old School Labs. The link is down below and if you use a code even you get a 15% discount. And also guys, if you wanna find a, a different way to support my channel, this is definitely of a great help buying these products and using my code even. So thank you guys. All right, next we have Larry Wills with a physique update after a month of, of being off of gear and he pretty much lost all of his gains. <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry, but that's what I'm seeing. Honestly, he looks so much smaller than before and it's only been a month, one month, only four weeks. How much muscle can you really lose in four weeks? I don't think he was supposed to lose this much. No, this is probably a little bit too much. So what the hell happened? I think it's because he pretty much never really went completely off. He talked about it. So once he started uh, the gear when he was a teenager, he never stopped. So he doesn't really know what to do when he is off. He has no experience with it. And of course, he expected to lose something. He didn't expect to stay the same size. So it's a, a lot is in your head. When you go off of a cycle, you should believe that you can even grow muscle and try to grow muscle probably eat a little bit more, get a little bit chubbier, and you can maintain a lot of that tissue. If you just think you will not look the same, you will not keep, you will not retain your muscle, you're just gonna get smaller and weaker, then that is exactly what's gonna happen. It's it's all in your head. It's not really all. Of course, you will lose some of that fullness, but to lose this much tissue in, in one month, it's too much. I don't know what is he doing diet-wise, training-wise, but I'm sure he's not, he doesn't believe in himself. He doesn't believe that he can maintain a lot without being on gear. In case you are thinking he didn't lose that much size, here is a video of him when he was when he was full blown, when he was blasting. This is how big Larry Wills get. I think he was 125 kilos right here. And I don't know what is his weight right now, but he looks like he lost 15 kilos, or like 30, 40 pounds. Here he was freaking massive, and now he's but a shadow of himself. I gotta say he also looks much leaner, so he's probably dieting while being off, and I think that's never a good idea. When he is off, he should eat more, so he can retain as much as possible. So what if he gains a little bit of fat? And with his genetics, I don't think he can really get fat. I think he would just get a little bit more bloated, he would definitely gain some body fat. When you're not on gear, you definitely gain fat much easier. When you're blasting gear, it's much, much harder to, to gain body fat. So right now, he's probably scared to eat, which I think is definitely a bad approach. I don't know what his future plans are, how long he plans on staying off, but I don't think it's gonna last too long because he lost a lot in that one month and he's probably gonna get depressed very soon and he's gonna probably jump, jump back on a cycle. And before you know it, he's going to be as big as he once was or even bigger. But as for right now, that's definitely not the case. He's not this size. He definitely lost a lot of size. I did not expect to see this kind of size loss in only one month. I don't know what the hell did he do to lose this much muscle, but it is what it is. This is him right now. Whatever you guys think, tell me in the comment section down below. Like this video if you enjoyed it. And for more bodybuilding videos like this, subscribe to my channel, guys. Thank you so much for watching. All the best and bye-bye.